Hello, and welcome to the Frivolous and Frugal Knitting Podcast. We are two sisters who share our fondness for knitting, the things that we create, and the knitting community that we love. And we do it all with a little twist of both frivolous and frugal. So I am Frivolous Dawn, also known as Princess Tinkalot, and I am number fourth in our family's birth order. I don't know why, but that tickled me. And I am frugal Miss Penny. I am the oldest of the eight siblings. We just have a hearty welcome back to our returning viewers. Thanks so much for making us part of your podcast viewing time. And for those of you who are first time viewers, we would like to give you a heartfelt thank you for setting aside time to give us a try. We always hope that at the end of each episode, you'll take a couple of nuggets away that you can use in your own knitting. So having said that, Dawn, let's have everyone grab their knitting, your favorite note-taking device, and obviously a sense of humor because it's episode 22. Take it away, Dawn. As I'm thinking, wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't that be just appropriate for this? Yes, so... Um, I guess we always start with what's around our neck. This is um, a shawl I knit in March of 18, according to Ravelry. And <laughs> surprise, surprise, it's another Melanie Berg. This is uh, for the love of spiders. And um, it is really um, soft. It is Cascade silk. Cascade heritage silk in the Italian plum and gray colorway. It was part of our mystery mania. And I think it is based off of Charlotte's Web. She had 512 baby spiders, and there are 512 baby spiders in here. I did not know that. Yeah. And that I, this, cool. Could you make my eyes this color? <laughs> I want violet <laughs> eyes. All right. Hey. Yeah. Listen, yeah, if you can make me a size too. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <laughs> So what's around your shoulders? It's not around your neck today. No, it's just around my shoulders because I'm having a personal summer right now. And um, this is the Levity shawl. And it is a design by Kelly McClure. I knit it for our son's wedding, just in a delightful silk blend fiber. Um, it's the oximeter fingering weight. And it is by... Um, Oh, what is her name? I'm going to look at my notes because I can't remember her name. Uh, Dizzy Lettuce. I don't know why I couldn't remember Dizzy Lettuce. That kind of fits with Tinks a lot and everything else. But anyway, fun, fun. Um, these were the colors that our daughter-in-law chose. And so that's what I knit it in. And Pearl, beautiful. thank you. Pearl is knitting the, or is knitting, is wearing the Sheboygan shawl that um, Joanne Kylie designed from Magpie Cottage. And it is in Cascade sock. It's not the silk. So very fun, workhorse, lightweight, wears well. And I, I wear it quite frequently, actually. It's probably one of my go-to shawls. So that's what she's sporting today. I need to get mine out. That is actually an amazing shawl. I so, do think it too. I know. Available on Ravelry. I just think Joanne was brilliant when she designed that one. Yeah, so. paper pattern, but definitely... Um, either just a one or a two dollar sign on the frugalometer um, because I don't think she's overpriced at all. I think she's very reasonable as is the fiber. Uh, the levity shawl, I'm going to say gets four dollar signs for the fiber. Oh, you little <laughs> secret closeted frivolous girl, you. Well, I was wearing a mask when I bought it, so no one knows it was me. <laughs> well, and it was for your son's wedding, so. Well, and I might have used your charge card. So. <laughs> I don't hey. want to get out. <laughs> right before we signed on, or I may or may not have bought some. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was waiting for you, so what else is a girl to do? So I bought some yarn. <laughs> I'll confess to that later. Um, <laughs> if yarn star, if yarn stores could only make my credit card say Home Depot, <laughs> there'd be no questions asked, right? <laughs> I gotta figure out how to do that. Uh, yeah, me too, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, you know what? I have absolutely nothing finished 
nothing off my needle. So um, it is with great embarrassment that <laughs> I will have to uh, pass off to you for what's off your needles. Well, listen, it was kind of a wonky week. Um, we hope you enjoyed meeting our sister oh, last week. Absolutely. We had lots and lots of fun and laughter and chats, but not a whole lot of knitting. <laughs> it we was tried. Like for me. Yeah, yeah, it was. And, and Dawn, I have to stop right here and humbly ask you to forgive me, okay? Because... Um, obviously, I cannot be trusted with very important questions because when you looked at me and asked what grade you were getting on the no notice hospitality check, um, I gave you a high B plus, a strong B, B plus. And that's just not true. Anyone who knows you knows that you give freely, without boundary, without expectation, and quite honestly, um, I have a report card for you, and uh -huh. on that report card, you have earned an A plus 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 plus. And the fault I don't know how to show the um, viewers what it is without printing it out. So next week I'll print it, but I'll I'll just tell you basically what it's for. Um, you got you got the highest marks on fun and friendship and um, lots of frivolity. And I just got to tell you, sis, please don't give me those important questions to ask when I can't think because <laughs> you earn an A plus, 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 plus. Oh, so wow. Don't ever hesitate anyone to do a no notice hospitality check on Dawn. <laughs> so thanks so much for last weekend. I couldn't have done it without you. And I hope I did. If I hurt your feelings. you please, No, not at all. It was funny. Um, and I would appreciate it next time if you would take a few dust bunnies home with you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even find any while I was there. Um, but someone did manage to send home some yarn with me. Well, yeah. Knitting for my stash real hard. So thanks, sis. I loved last weekend. Me too. Um, uh, I did get two things off my needles. So if you don't mind, this is going to merge right into what have you learned. So as you know, last week during the podcast, I was knitting the Slip and yeah. Dot Hat by Alice Humbrecht. And it is a pattern, pay for pattern on Ravelry. And I was knitting it and did knit it in Pl uh, Plymouth Encore and Plymouth Encore color spun on size eight. Gave it a one dollar sign on my frugalometer. Now, if I can just share with you what I learned as I was casting off the crown, <laughs> Mother never accused me of being the sharp one uh, in, the, in the family. I realized I did not follow the pattern. It is an eight row repeat and I made it a four row repeat. So I decided I would re-knit the hat just to show you what happens. Oh, so here's the way I knit it. This is the way it was supposed to look. I like Can both you actually. The difference? Yep. Yep, this is the way it was supposed to look. I don't know. I like both, though, don't you? Well, yeah, I think I can use both, but I definitely picked the pattern because I liked this. And yeah. I wasn't going to tink that back. So I have two different sizes as well, just so I could see what it looked like. Yep, and you, the brims have those slip stitch uh, loops in the front. They do. It's a yeah. slip stitch brim, which I had never made before. Wow. Fun. That's cool. Not difficult. Very no. easy to do. But um, hence the importance of paying attention to what one is doing while she is knitting with her sisters at the table. Well, um, you just uh, made a creative change in pattern. So. Well, thank you. I like the way you think because I'm not changing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I say all that to say this, it was no big deal. In the scope of eternity, I realized it wasn't following the pattern and it was not a big deal. I can give it away. It goes in my gift box, which by the way, I got that idea from you. I love the idea of having a gift box. So that's where I'm going to put it. Very good. Also, um, one of our viewers wanted to know what the 45 meant in your 45 uh, hats 45, what's it, designers? 45 designers. 
Well, I would like to say that it was some profound reason, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's how many Christmas gifts I have to knit. And so I figured why not make a, a totally different gift for everyone on my list this year. And that's what I'm doing. So now I really have 46 hats, 45 designers. <laughs> I have a repeat. So that's what I'm doing. Next year, I've already decided my theme is going to be knitting scarves and or cowls. So for the gents on my list, I'll probably knit some type of a scarf um, that they might wear. Um, and then the, the ladies on my list are all going to get different cowls. So... Oh, I just some... do that to help keep me on track. So I don't get distracted by all the pretty things I see in everyone else's queue and in their finished objects, which by the way, in the finish fix it or frog it Cal, oh. I, I could drop everything I'm doing right now and pick up half of what our viewers are doing. What about I know. you? I go in and I add so many of them to my favorites and start looking at my stash to see what I have. And so again, amazing that what we have already. Um, is so workable. So Absolutely. yeah, that, that's been fun. And uh, I believe all packages got mailed out this week for last week's winners. So oh, well, thank you. And, and something else really quick. Don't, I don't think <clears throat> you should be at all embarrassed by not having anything finished. Um, because remember what we were talking about a few weeks ago, it's not a race. Right. By golly, it isn't. And you are not knitting small projects like I am. Hats are a breeze compared to those beautiful, intricate shawls that you're knitting. So be free, sister, be free. <laughs> There's something in Kumbaya or something. Yeah, I knew you were going to come back with that. <laughs> oh, oh, too what are you fun. on right there? Well, here I am ticking on the Ikigai cowl. Oh, yes. So, gosh, that's not a bad color. It's that dark blue. And uh, Ikigai, okay. I said last week, is a paid-for pattern. It's free on Ravelry. And I'm going to show you how you spell Ikigai for anybody who's interested. Okay. Thank and, you very much. I'll put that in the show notes, too. Yeah. And then this is that Malabrigo Caprino, which is their 80% uh, merino, 20% cashmere. The yarn is absolutely delightful. And it is... Um, Every sixth row, you do, you do a thing. And I forgot to do the thing. So that's what I was thinking back. So um, this yarn comes in 50 gram skeins, and I just started the, sec the second skein. So I just did a, my 10th repeat. I need to do 16. So I'm going to have some extra yarn. I'll see at the time if I can add it in or if it's going to make that cowl too tall. So, and I think okay. according to the picture, this thing is aggressively blocked. So, um, oh, it, it, it okay. spreads apart like that in the picture. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. So, yeah, I just think that's a nice little simple rib. So, are you going to block that on your pool noodles? Yeah, I'll probably try that. Okay. And see how that goes. Uh, frugalometer, it's going to get up there, probably a three or maybe a four. Um, yeah, I, I would, think Malabrigo on my on my frugalometer would definitely be a four. I would have to look at the price <laughs> at the store. <clears throat> yeah. So my obliviousness continues. I just put it up on there and, eh, okay, sign the little iPad and off I go. Um, but you know, there's something to be said, though, Dawn, about buying those yarns every once in a while. Sometimes the project just calls for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and um, it was a new yarn, which I enjoy trying. I would definitely do it again for a special project. So I think a cowl may be a great way to use if you have the, a little special skein of yarn mm -hmm. that you've been holding off and don't know what to do with. I think uh, there's so many cool cowl patterns out there. That'd be a great way. Yes, I, th I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. So what else is on your needles? Well, I am working on my Kevin Costner sweater, and... I, I must say, I surprised myself because one of our sons was here with his family this weekend. And although he's not the exact size of the son for whom I'm knitting this um, sweater for, I tried it on him. I felt much better. I was getting pretty um, concerned about separating for the sleeves. The way this is constructed, 
I just knit in the round, the bottom part of it. Then I had to separate for the sleeves and I'm knitting the back. And I didn't want to do that if yeah. it was off. It was off. So we tried it on him. It seemed like a perfect fit. So I've separated and I'm now working across the back. I've got my armhole started and hopefully I'll get this done fairly soon because another son sent his mother back the sweater I knit for him and asked me to alter it. <laughs> I know, I know, but I think I'm working through it in my head and I think I'll be able to do it. It may not be pretty when I get done, but um, if Aww. it isn't, I'll just buy more yarn and knit another one. There'll be some good lessons to learn with that too. Yeah, I think so. All right. So that is it for me this week, other than my alliteration scarf, which I'm always working on. All right. This is that Advent Stole 2016. Oh, yeah. I'm taking that class at Silver Thimble in Green Bay. Oh, and come on. Look at that. Yeah, look. I did a quick block on it because I think lace looks so much better. So I just did a quick steam block. So um, mm -hmm. up to here was week one for class. We had to do these two clues. Okay. And then now we've done, I've done the next two and you can see they're much shorter and they're not lace. So they're hard to see the patterns. But um, in this section here, um, I got to do cables without a cable needle. So I was like, look, ma'am, no hands. <laughs> um, I didn't like it at first. So I went back to using a cable needle. Then I thought, you know what, just suck it up and do it. So I watched Michelle Hunter uh, Pearl Hunter's videos on cables without needles. And one was just a simple, you know, two stitch cable. And then the other one was a four stitch cable. So I liked it. And then it looks like according to the pattern, I'm going to go back to lace again. So maybe that's going to be the combination, a couple of sections of lace. I am staying to pattern. I'm not adding any extra. Um, and I love it. So this week will be week three out of six. So, and I think maybe that is where I was last time. Hey, while I'm thinking about it, several people asked me about these stitch markers. Is they? Let's see. They say RS for right side. Yes, they do. Karen's, oh, it's an Etsy shop. Karen's Hobby Room. I'll have a penny link it for sure. Um, I just ordered a bunch more yesterday because I figured everybody in this class needed one because some of them are doing lace for the first time. And I think in the beginning, it's hard to tell lace right side from wrong side. But then I just love all the ladies in that class. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I just gave them okay. all one. So Of course you did, you A++ girl. And I'm thinking maybe we should include those now in our gifts for a while. Because everybody needs them. Well, I agree. So maybe so. that's an idea. And speaking of gifts, next week we are going to be drawing during our Knitting with the oh, Aunties. Yeah. For our next giveaway in the finish fix it or frog it cow so if you have not entered in our thread and put some pictures of what you're finishing or frogging or fixing please do so because we randomly select those numbers and then we'll contact you to let you know you've been selected yeah absolutely that was yeah. fun now do you have anything else on your needles no, just the other things I'm working on. I did that little sweater. I didn't bring it over here to the table with me, but um, the little baby sweater, number two of the six sweet sweaters, um, I finally seamed the sleeves, oh, but did. I am not liking my side seams in garter. I am so used to seaming in stockinette. I know how to seam. So like you, I'm just going to bludgeon through it and keep working on it until I get it. Well, I'll bring that for sure next week. Yeah, what do we have to lose? Well, not a thing. And I'm not so sure that our recipients are nearly as critical as we are. Yeah, agreed. So, agreed. yeah. Because if um, they are, then well, they're, they're just not. We don't even need to go there. People are gracious. Yeah, and They are. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Now, I have one more thing on my needles. I can't remember. What? Did I show you, this? No wonder you didn't get anything off your needles. <laughs> did, I, did I show this last week? Not looking like that, you didn't. So this is Grand mm -hmm. Bazaar by mm -hmm. Melanie Berg. Why? What? I was. Oh, maybe that's where I was last week at the stitch marker. I gave this just a really quick steam block because again, lace looks so much better. So um, this is Queensland United yarn. It's a cotton blend yarn. Um, 
the the colors called dark no black current so it's a purple purple gray kind of and um I think it's fairly reasonable yarns. I think I gave it a three on the frugalometer. Do you see the lifeline? I do. Go ahead yeah. and explain to the um, viewers again what the lifeline is and why you use it. Yeah, it, it looked like a tampon string. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go there. That's okay. A bad example. <laughs> yeah, Nikki's uh, smacking me right now. So uh, in lace anyway, um, I put a just some scrap yarn. This is that like crochet cotton. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I use dental floss too. And I just, once I know a row is correct or a repeat is correct, I just run that through the middle of the stitches so that if I make a mistake, I only need to tink back or rip back to that line. So this is, uh, I think it's a 24 row repeat, but it's rest rows on the way back. So you lace across and purl back. Okay, I don't know why this took me so long. I put the lifeline through the purl stitches because it was so much easier than trying to weave it in and out of lace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it only took me like 40 years to figure that one out. But um, I just am about to finish my first of five 50 gram balls. So oh, um, well, that's going to be huge. And here's a good lesson for me on yarn substitution. So the pattern calls for a fingering weight. Mm -hmm. I forget the exact one she used, but it was basically 100 grams, 400 and some yards. Well, this Queensland yarn says it's DK, and yet it's 250 yards to 50 grams. So double that for a hundred gram skein, that's over 500. So to me, that's a light fingering. Yeah, or a lace. Yeah, getting close to lace. So I went ahead and did exactly what the pattern says because it's gonna be a shot model um, for a silver thimble. And it called for a seven, size seven needle. So I did it, it's supposed to be 14 inches wide. I might even be a little wide here. It was like 22 inches. <laughs> <laughs> crazy so I just dropped back to a five okay and I'm liking it much better so there's a, a good example of yarn substitution is now I do not do gauge swatches for shawls now if I did one I would have figured that out much sooner but I'm telling you it didn't take five or six rows till you knew that it was not supposed to be a sleeping bag because so, <laughs> it was about as wide as a sleeping bag yes yeah, so I am liking that and that is going to block out beautifully so um can't wait I'm to see that one so down. I'm sure that as a lace, I wouldn't like it better in lace weight. I wonder if DK might take a little bit away from that. Yeah. One. Or you would definitely weight. use a smaller, if you wanted it, I suppose it's all based on gauge again, right? Mm -hmm. I suppose if you knitted it on a smaller needle and got it more dense, um, but there, in my mind, that that did not have the yardage of a DK. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that is um, what is on my needles. So, whew. you are busy, busy, beautiful yeah. projects. Yeah. So, I already did kind of what I'm learning. So, that was kind of uh, cabling um, without uh, <laughs> cable needles. You know what else? Um, I secretly have always wanted to be a cheerleader. <laughs> I know. I know. What? Don't go there in your head. Not, not a nice image. <laughs> So I was thinking, you know, things about you. you know how when you're doing cable, it's like make one left, make one right. I'm thinking there has to be a chair in there. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I was like, go left, go right. I don't know. There has to be some kind of chair in there. Well, make but, it out, Don. It could be your thing. Well, wasn't there it a chair? Like, like it was something cable. like, make, something, there was something about uh, stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. Wasn't yeah. that a chair you used to do? What was that? Um, move it to, uh, stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. So move it to the left, move it to the right, stand up, sit down, fight, fight. Okay. Hey, there you were. You were a cheerleader. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not. No, you were the cheerleader. <laughs> and I can't even remember the lyrics <laughs> or the words. <laughs> so, uh, no hands seemed a much better appropriate lesson to learn than, <laughs> than I've always wanted to be a cheerleader. <laughs> Okay, you once again, psychotherapy needed. Oh, yes. Um, if you have any volunteers, please let us know. Yeah. Um, I think 
about the only other thing that I wanted to mention, and maybe you can think of something else. We have our next virtual midnight on yeah. August 8th. So those of you who are interested in joining us, we're going to be doing that from 7 to 9 Central Time on Saturday, August 8th. We do it via Zoom. We put the Zoom information up somewhere around an hour before the actual midnight starts, just in case there's anyone who has difficulties. So we would love to have you. We met about eight or nine new viewers last month. And so please, Feel free to join us. We'd love to have you. It is two hours of talking about nothing but knitting and what's on your needles and what you've learned. I don't know about you, Dawn, but I just thought it was wonderful last month. Yeah, we talked about, um, we had, we'd asked them to bring some yarn that um, they really loved in their stash and try to think about some ideas. So again, I got so many pattern ideas from doing that. A little bit of enabling may have happened. Um, but wow, so many people with different points of view. It was absolutely um, warmed my heart, no doubt. Me too. Um, and if you are unable to join us, but you would like to see some of the different highlights of the evening, we do put that in the thread in Ravelry with links as much as possible yeah. uh, so that you can visit. For instance, we were introduced to two new organizations in charity knits. Right. this past month and those links were posted so that you could visit the websites to see if it's something that you might want to participate in yeah, so, yeah. i thought it was Love excellent. To have everyone um good and also if you are not on ravelry but would like to be part of the zoom if you would email either penny or myself um, penny includes all that information in the show notes here and as well on ravelry so um, we can shoot you that link out an hour before too so mm -hmm. We don't yeah. mind doing that at all. I think that may be it for today, huh? I know. I think so. But you know what? Put your seatbelt on because next week there are going to be some finished objects. Yeah, I yeah, hope so. Yeah, you're close. I'm no close. No pressure. No, no. Um, oh, no. But we got to squeeze it in before we go back to work. I know. That makes me sick. Ugh, back no, to work. I, yeah, I know. To work. It does. Um, I cannot think of anything else. So as Dawn said, all of our social media contacts are in the show notes. And we once again want to thank you so much for your participation in the threads on YouTube uh, and in Ravelry. We enjoy those. And if you ever have specific ideas, questions, or suggestions, don't hesitate to let us know. Like us, subscribe to us on YouTube. And in the meantime, we hope that your week is a sweet twist of the frivolous and frugal. So good to see you again. <laughs> All right. Bye, Bye. everybody.